Time for report cards, guys. Let's start on the offensive side of the football. We usually sure. be good. Let's tr maybe let's try to grade with the grade here. You know, on the curve a little bit. Uh, what do you? Well, give I, I gave the offensive. Uh, I thought he was going to say a B. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say a B. I, did you see me pitch my fist? I was about right to hit right right up. I wouldn't have, I I wouldn't have upset you, Ray, really. But I gave the offense a D, a D plus, okay? Uh, you know, th they were there. Uh, Geno Smith almost got killed today. Quarterback rating of 10, which is unheard of in the NFL. you gotta get, you got to complete a couple of passes to have something better there. Couldn't run the football. Not much to be said. Ray? I'm going to grade this on a learning curve. It, F. Okay. <laughs> Failed miserably today. The pass rating 10. Gino wouldn't stand up in the pocket, got hit. The offensive line played terrible. Gino again turning the football over at an alarming rate today. F. They have no chance on even with the curve to get I can't believe he put, he put his fist up at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mike, what did you get the offense? I, I gave them a D minus. I gave them D minus in the fact that I, I was so concerned at the beginning of the game that Buffalo would do everything they could to stop the run. They're going to stop the run. And this is what I was disappointed. They've got eight guys in the box. Where's Hill on a deep route? Cool. We're throw the football a little bit there, loosen them up, then run the ball. And I didn't see that. So, therefore, now the rest of the game, it got out of hand. That's Buffalo's strengths. The Jets are not very strong in that regard. So, they ended up being a D minus. Yo, the Jets may need to look into an Amber Alert for Stephen Hill. I mean, Ooh. where has he Ooh. been yeah. for like the past Four months? Weeks. Four weeks. Where? I mean, you, he's played and we. He didn't make any catches. I, I, I'm going to call the FBI. Maybe they can go <laughs> find him. I, I haven't seen him at all in four weeks. He's, as we say, backing up to the pay window. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so doubt. now we go to the defensive side of the football. What would you get the defense? I gave the defense a D+. Plus. Uh, listen, uh, they've lived on the defensive line's pass rush, the pressure they put on. Uh, they stopped the run. I mean, uh, Rex talked about in his interview, a one-point-something average for rush. I mean, that's darn good. I don't care who you're playing against, especially when that Buffalo team's a good rushing team. But the defensive backfield we've got shattered today. I mean, I know Rex talked about Milner will be in there and he's going to stay with him. After he said what he said two weeks ago when he said, yes, don't discount me when I'm talking to you about a player that I think is a good one, Rex has to stay with him. And I think it's going to be to his demise a little bit, unless he does play cover two all day. And then the Rex defense that we know is not going to be the same. Right? F. Mm. I mean, the, for E.J. Manuel to be standing back there and throwing balls to 10 different receivers, having all the time in the world, uh, and the strength of the New York Jets is their front seven, and they do put pressure on. But now we know what happens when the front seven doesn't put pressure on. The secondary can't cover anyone. I mean, the two balls overthrown by Cromartie and Milner got beat twice throwing the ball down the field. It's just, just nowhere for me to get any kind of positive anything out of it, they get an F as well. All right, Mike, what'd you give them? I agree with Ray. I, I gave them the same grade. I gave them an F on it. Because this is the Jets' strength. This is where they're strong. They're strong up front. It was a good matchup in the run. I believe the Jets would win, and they did. But in the passing game, you know, B B Buffalo is a very average passing team. This isn't a great passing team. Where was the pressure? There was no pressure on the quarterback, and he picked them apart. And, and really, that cannot happen. Uh, to the New York Jets defense. That can't. This is a, an area where they're strong. They can pressure the quarterback. They sacked them six times last time they played them. Every time the last time, they were in his face. They weren't near him today. And, and I think they really, got, you know, I have a little more pressure on them. But they deserve the pressure because they're a good group. They did not play well today. They yeah, just did not. E.J. Manuel had a quarterback rating of 121. Wow. Two touchdowns, no turnovers uh, for him. All right, let's go to special teams. And, Mike, let's uh, – should we start with Mike? Oh, absolutely. Let's start with you. Let's, uh, hey, Nick Falk, I mean, the, the kick the, – the, the field goal, he misses one. I mean, the streak is over at 22. But other than that – I mean, what would you think? I thought they punted fairly well under the conditions, and that actually helped them. I thought they did, and I gave them a C. For the most part, it was non-consequential. I wish Nick had made that kick. You know, their guy made the kick. He was into the win when he had his first one. He made it. Um, 
that was a little disappointing to me, and it, I mean, it, it was really, you know, the wind caught it and blew it. Nothing much happened. I am disappointed in their kickoff return game, but yet at the same time, I know the personnel that they're dealing with, that they're blocking with, and, and they're just not going to, that's tough to do. I don't care who you get back there. So I thought it was just very, very mediocre, although I did like the fact that they took McKelvin, who's an incredible punt returner, mm-hmm. pretty much out of the game. I thought that was positive. I see you got, you already gave him an F. Well, I mean, I'm not Mike Westhoff, and I can't see what he sees that offsides that to keep that Buffalo drive going to me was just unbearable. I mean, you could really live with the physical mistakes, but that's a mental mistake. That's lack of focus. And again, Nick Folk missed one. I'm not even harping on that too much because obviously you saw that ball get pushed almost out of the stadium. So again, no, it was just bad kick return. Like Mike said, they're not getting good starting point average. Um, you know, especially the, the, the offense always said when you're on the sidelines, you want to walk straight out. You don't want to walk back. And the offense is doing a lot of walking back, Brian. Well, you give him a C, huh? <clears throat> I, get, I give him a C because basically, I mean, the, the wins in that stadium, we all know because we've played there, are very tough. And uh, for Nick Folk to have missed that field goal today, like Mike said, those wins we know are bad there. And that, you know, that's just something that happened. But nothing bad really happened. The punt game was fantastic. I mean, I don't know what he averaged exactly, but he had a couple of them that really, he tunned them. And they didn't give up any really big runs. They didn't give up any big points. Uh, Cribs was trying to make something happen, coming out of the end zone again. After my last talk here about the special teams, Mike and I talked about it. You know, he's trying. He's trying to get it going. They couldn't really get anything going, but they didn't hurt themselves. I gave him a C. 